Hello everyone, in today's video I'll be showing you some of the tools I got for Christmas. Let's get into it. So one of the tools I got for Christmas was this Ryoba saw, which actually come from America. Uh, I don't know if you've heard of the YouTuber called Pat's Moses, he does a lot of woodworking videos. So I ordered it through his website and it arrived, well, I don't know, within 3-4 weeks. Um, and it looks to be a very nice saw. As you can see it can fold up, which is handy for me because I'll be taking it to work and it doesn't damage the teeth and fits nicely in my tool bag. So if I just take it out this pouch, I can, it just comes out here. And it's, as you can see, it's nicely folded up like this. And it's got a little uh, protection bit over here to cover the other side of the teeth because Ryobas are double-sided. You've got a cross-cutting side and a ripping side and you've got this little bit here, but you don't need to press that yet, and it just folds open like that, and then you just take this bit off, and there you go, you've got your Ryoba saw. So if I stand back a bit, you can see the size of it. It's not overly big, but it's a nice, nice saw to, to hold and use. As you can see, you've got the little focus, cross-cutting side here, and on this side is the ripping side, so going for with the grain and going across the grain. I haven't actually used it yet, which I'm kind of dying to use, but I thought I'd wait and show you what it actually looked like before I go using it. Pretty sure you can also replace the blades. There's just a little screw which you can undo there. Uh, I don't know if you can buy them in the UK or not. I, I haven't seen any of these saws that you can actually get in the UK, which are Ryoba ones. They've been just ones with a, a spine on the back, but they haven't been Ryoba. So I'm not sure if you can get them or not, but they're very easy to buy from Cat's Moses saw, uh, store. Saw, store. And then to fold the saw back up, you just press this down here, and it just bends around. Probably best to do it when you've got the protection bit on it. And then there's there's a little uh, cutout, a little groove in the handle, which it just fits in there. And then obviously you want to slot the cover over it so you don't damage any of the teeth, because that would not be good. So moving on from that, I also got these trend drill bits, which came to think at the same time, I kind of bought this one for myself, it wasn't really a Christmas present, it was just a, I'll see them and I, I used one the other day at work and just thought I've, I've got to have them. So as you can see, they drill and countersink at the same time. Is that focusing? I think so. So they've got the countersink bit there and you can adjust the length of the drill bit with the Allen key that's provided. And it's a nice little set, you've got all different sizes, it tells you at the bottom, you've got a 2mm, 2.4, 2.8, 3.2 and a 3.6 millimeter drill bit and they just simply fit into your, to your normal drill and far away it does it all at once piloting drilling the hole and countersinking so just sound like a win-win for me and um, saves a lot of time with the clearance hole and you've got to pilot it and you've got to countersink it so it seemed like a pretty good buy I would like to also make a little case for these at some point possibly what I would film as well um, which will just flip up because they don't actually provide a case which is a bit annoying because I want to protect them as well so that may be a future video so look out for that one so another tool I got was this Weera or Weera, I never know which way, how, how you say it but it's this Weera bit set and you get all different bits, These just this just flips up here and you've got all different types of drill bits in there which you can put in your impact driver or any, anything you want to use and it also comes with a little side bit here for your holder so it just slots out here it's hard to do it without not showing it and it just comes out there and as you can see you've got a little holder as well for them and it just goes back in this little side pouch tucked nicely away and I just thought it was a nice little set and where are we I don't know how you say are um, known for making Good tools, all my screwdrivers, I've got all the screwdrivers here, as you can see, and they are very good, high quality. And yeah, I'll show you. So you just literally just get your drill, take this holder out, get your impact driver, and put it in here. And then you just grab anyone you want. I don't know, normally, what is it, PZ2, I think you normally use. Oh. Uh, so I just found something else out as well. I was just struggling to get these out and then I realised that this actually tilts back. It tilts back at the back so you can actually grab the front ones because I was like, come on, get out. But yeah, 
I just thought that was quite cool. So anyway. you just grab your uh, bit and shove it in the end of your drill, and there you go. You got a nice, and this one's particularly good because it's short. So if you need to get in any cabinets or anything which is tough to get your drill in, that's that's perfect for it. Um, and I think it's also magnetic. <laughs> Should be. There you go, magnetic. So if you wanna. I, I can't, I, I, I'm not a big fan of the ones that aren't magnetic because it's just, I don't know, I just got used to it now. I normally put them on and then it just falls off every time. But yeah, that's a nice little set if you're looking at buying any any of them with your Christmas money at all. So yeah, I would recommend that. So for a while, over the years of uh, buying tools myself, I've had a bit of an addiction to tape measures, which I know sounds a bit weird, but I don't know, I just I just like tape measures. And I've gone through so many, the, the thicker ones, um, the ones with inches and millimetres, but I've always gone back to this one and it's just a normal Stanley five metre tape measure and it's just been, I don't know, I've, I, that's just the one I've preferred. It's just got millimetres on it and I rarely work in inches um, and if I do then I'll just grab one of my other tape measures out and I have one already in the workshop here but where I'm at work I don't actually have one so I thought one ask for one of them for Christmas. So this is just a normal Stanley Powerlock five meter tape measure if you're interested. Really good tape measure. I'll show you some of the markings in case you are interested. And here is the tape measure. As you can see, the markings are very clear. So while we're on the side of measuring and marking, I thought I'd also show you the rulers I got. Now, I have used a fair few rulers, uh, some of the, the Rolfson ones, but I just don't find them clear enough and these ones are by Fisher, I don't know if you've ever seen them before and the markings on them are so much clearer to use. On the top you've got all the 0.5 measurements as well and underneath it's just in 1mm increments and I also picked up a 6-inch ruler as well which are great for dovetails, they're not too heavy and you can just mark it like that and put your little, I don't know, 5mm in from each side and divide it and it's just a nice little handy ruler to use, maybe clearing out mortises if you've done uh, three mortises. I'll show you some of the markings up close because I think sometimes it's good to see what it actually looks like before you go buy it. Because it may not be exactly what you want, but at least you can see what these ones are. And if you would like to buy one, then you can, you can see. So these are some of the markings, as you can see. Very clear and easy to see. Inches on the other side. So here is the 150mm 6 inch ruler, again very clear markings. So for one I'll be looking for some allen keys that I can also use at work and I wasn't really sure what to get, it's, it's kind of hard to look um, online but this is what I went for in the end, they're quite a, a beefy set but you get, I think it's up to 10mm, yes yeah, so you go from 2.5 to 10mm and they just simply fold out like that. And the same on the other side, like so. And what I like about it actually is there's a lot of handle here to grip. So if you've got something that you really want to hold, you can properly grip it and turn it, and you can have it that way or, or however you want. But it's nice just to have them all fold down into a nice set. I did look at the other Weira ones as well, and I'm sure they're really good, but I didn't know if I wanted individual ones. I don't know, I just thought I'd try these first, um, and so far they, they look pretty good. So in case you were looking for a pair, I don't know what the make of them is called. Uh, I'll, have to, I'll have to have a look and I'll put it in the description. I'll try and put all these tools in the description, um, so if you are interested in buying any, then you can easily navigate to them. So I also got this little whittling set, which comes in a nice roll, and you get three knives and gouges in this. Uh, see if I can show you just there you also get a little strop with some compound and it's just to have a go at whittling and carving here's one of the knives that you get in it it might need a bit of a sharpen first but yeah you can you can go ahead and start carving whatever you want and to go alongside with it you get these pair of gloves in case you I don't know cut cut yourself whether I'll wear them or not I'm not sure but they're there in case anyone wants to wear them and I thought I also got this book with it as well, which is a 20 minute whittling project. Looks like you can make dogs and all sorts in it. I think there's a Father Christmas you can make as well. So maybe Christmas presents for next year. 
maybe. I don't know if you if you like doing stuff like this. Where was it? Like that. As you can see, that's all been carved. So yeah, just something just to sit down. You haven't got to be in the workshop if you want to be outside and get a bit of sun or just chill out and just carve away. Then it's just a nice little thing to do. So I was quite chuffed with that. And I'm sure I will be possibly doing some videos on it in the future. So one of the last things that I thought I'd mention is that I got... I don't know if you, you wouldn't count this as a tool, but everyone's got to have a cup of tea or a coffee, surely. So this is a mug that I got. It says, I turn wood into things. What's your superpower? Which I thought was quite nice. I'll be taking that into work, I reckon. But yeah, not really much to say. It's a mug. But um, yes. So there you go, there's some of the tools I got for Christmas. I really hope you enjoyed watching and might want to buy some of these tools from your Christmas money you might have got. As I said, I'll try and leave some links in the description. I'm going to try and post uh, a lot more videos this year. We appreciate all the new subscribers that have subscribed to my channel. I think we're on 151 at the current point of uh, filming this and, and all the love on the workshop tour as well. I think that's at like 3,000 views, which is amazing. So if you enjoyed this video, be sure to like and subscribe, and I will see you in the next one. Goodbye.